This one jolted. Center field. Center fielder looks up. God! Free run bomb by Abby Wiry. Knights are on the board. 3 0 in the home half of the fifth. Well, she just absolutely tattoos this ball. Now, she's got three home runs on the year, so it's not a total surprise, but it is a little bit coming from the eight hitter in your lineup. But uh, again, I'm, we're going to see the replay here. That pitch is just cutting the plate in half, and that is not where Wagner has been all day. She's been on the corners. She makes a mistake, somebody pays. Grace Meyer also with three home runs on the season. Right now, I'm co sure Coach Fleming would just take a base hit. Oh, yeah. Base hit. Scores two, most likely. That one heading towards the gap. Bell trying to get there. And that's out of here. So the last hit nearly out of the park. This one is out of the park. A three-run blast for Grace Meyer. To score Norman, Green, and herself as the Knights opening it up in game two. Now we'll see if Coach Babinski decides to get somebody up. Obviously, it would be very early to do that, but uh, just a bomb there. You know, that, that is the opposite way power alley. That's, that's not easy to do. That wind really starting to pick up. It was only at about 15 miles an hour to start off. Now it's picked up to about 25 miles an hour. Hit high in the air to right. Could the wind help this ball out of here? It did. As Sierra Norman smokes that into right, and the Marion Knights regain the lead at 7-6. to six. Right as you talk about the wind, I do think the wind helped just a little bit. That pitch is away outside, and uh, she just great job of keeping the front shoulder in, firing the hips, and just bringing the hands through. And just, just enough. Didn't get out by much, got out by enough. Sent high in the air to right. That could be big trouble. Wyrie trying to get back there. That ball is gone. Three-run shot by Miranda Worley. Yost scores. Tregesser scores. And so does Worley. She has now driven in six runs in this game. Miranda Worley, the junior catcher. Excellent piece of hitting. That ball is on the outer half of the plate and doesn't try to pull it. Just hit it where it's pitched. Hit it hard, let it go. And runners you know, running around crazy. That one smashed by Buck into left, gone. That one is out of here. Indiana Wesleyan fans who made the trip are loving every minute of that. Wyatt scores, and so does Buck. Three runs in this inning. 17 to eight. 11 unanswered runs by the Indiana Wesleyan Wildcats. Well, they are just putting on a hitting clinic, and just about everything they've hit in this second game has been tagged. I mean, there's just, there have been a couple of cheap ones. We'll watch this replay here again. Pitch just on the inner half and just turns on it and absolutely puts a charge in it. And uh, may have hit the team bus out there.